Hey, hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the uh, one of the important SCP standard report, that is RVV 05 IVB. Uh, this is the report that we use regularly in our day-to-day -day work. Uh, before I understand what's the purpose of this report, let's go through a uh, few other points one by one. I saw we aware that uh, uh, VF04 transaction code is to display the delivery, sorry, billing due list. For this VF04, uh, the backend database table is VKDFS. So whenever we run this VF04 transaction code, the data will be retrieved from VKDFS only. And there is one more uh, 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 due list. There is delivery due list. Uh, transaction code is VL04. And uh, the backend database table for VL04 is that uh, VEPVG. Similar way, we have n number of uh, uh, work lists are available. And the relevant index tables are associated with it. Uh, for example, VA05, we have in VA05, we have uh, two options uh, to display the data material wise or partner function wise. If it is a partner function wise, then the backend index table is VAKPA. If it is a material list of sales orders, then the backend database table is VAPMA. Uh, similarly, for shipments, uh, transaction code is VT01, VT04 and the backend database table is VTRDI. So basically this VF04, VF24, VL04, VT01, VA05, VA25, this and all work list. Work list is to display the sales and distribution documents. These work lists are mainly dependent on the index tables. OK. so. Now let's understand what's the importance of this uh, report RVV05 IVB. Um, yeah, so mainly this report will be used to avoid the inconsistencies data in uh, index tables or work list. So inconsistencies might happen uh, like, uh, uh, for example, uh, let's take example of VF04 uh, billing due list. Uh, for one delivery document, the invoice is already completed, but still the delivery appears in uh, VF04. But in this case, it shouldn't appear because billing is already done. In this case, we can run this report, which will remove that uh, entry from that uh, VKDFS table eventually in that work list VF04. In other cases, uh, invoice is not created for that uh, document. Uh, document in the sense it might be order or delivery still it didn't it doesn't display in the delivery sorry billing to list so in one case it shouldn't display in other case it should display but it isn't happening means then we need to reorganize the data we need to reorganize the index tables data then only uh, we can see the correct data in that work list transaction codes and uh, one more one more benefit of this uh, report is uh, we may see some uh, incorrect or for problematic data in uh, uh, report uh, SDR QCR 21 which is uh, used for sales requirements and uh, it's directly connected with MD04 transaction code so by running this report we can avoid that incorrect data in SDR QCR 21 as well you see here, uh, this is the initial screen of uh, RVV05 IVB report. Uh, here we see that four, uh, uh, I mean three uh, areas like uh, sales documents, deliveries, and billing documents. Yeah, and if you execute by mentioning any documents, it will try to reorganize the data. Yeah, that's it for this video today. And if you think that I would like to discuss any other topics, any other issues, please do let me know. Mention in the comments. I will try to talk about in my upcoming videos. Thank you.